Upset City in Boulder, Colorado, where the Buffs stunned the Wildcats 79-63. Rush the court, kids. Have a day, kids. The Fighting Tad Boyles earned their first win against a top two team since 1992. Number two, Arizona, goes on the road and loses. They had been on a nine-game winning streak, so that's over. And Arizona was 22-0 against unranked opponents this season. And now Colorado hands them their first loss of that kind this season. Arizona did not shoot the basketball well at all in this game. They just didn't. They, they were off their game. Um, Kirk Creesa was, was not great in this game. Look, none of the starters were really that great. I mean, you can see the numbers there. Tristan De Silva was great for Colorado. Javari Walker was great uh, for Colorado as well. And uh, they pull off the upset at home, knocking off Arizona. Colorado upsets Arizona. Your reaction is what? Really surprised, honestly. I mean, Colorado's best win to this point before the Sakeem was at Oregon, which is fine, but we had gotten no indication. This is why we love college basketball, people. Are you kidding me? It's been an amazing Saturday so far. In fact, we've had the teams ranked two through six in the AP poll all take L's here on Saturday. Now, Arizona taking this one the way it did, it played its second worst game of the season. The only game that was worse for Arizona so far this season was the game they lost at UCLA um, earlier on. But overall, you know, I don't think this is too damaging for Arizona, you know, because there are so many teams that were on the one line and two line that took losses on Saturday, like the Wildcats still project as a number one seed. And, you know, sometimes coaches will even tell you if you got a bad game in you, like, you know, shake it off before you get to March. Get that one out of the way if you can. Now, maybe this would be that for Arizona. Still been a terrific team. But um, for Kirk Carissa not to play too well in this one, I thought it was uh, – he's sometimes uh, – uh, how he plays is reflective of how Arizona plays because he is, he is dripping with swagger. Kirk Kreese is one of the more entertaining players to watch in all of college basketball. He didn't really have it here. Credit, though, to Colorado and Tad Boyle. I mean, th this, is, this is the kind of win where, like, Colorado's not on the bubble, but you get this kind of win, and as you're veering toward the Pac-12 tournament, maybe, maybe the Buffaloes can be that spoiler team in, the, in that conference tournament. I think the Pac-12 is a conference that is vulnerable to a potential bid thief, meaning a team that's not in the tournament but gets the auto bid if it can run the table in the league bracket. Colorado showing signs of why that might be. I remember talking to Tad Boyle in the preseason, Hakeem, and there was some confidence that this team could grow into something. It's been okay, but these are the, these are the days, these are the games. Get on that floor in Boulder. I can hear the AP, I can hear the PA announcer. Please stay off the floor. Please stay Whatever. off the floor. Make a memory. They're going right to get now. fined, but that's neither here nor there. Let the kids have a day. Um, look, you and I were watching this game go down, and we're thinking, at least I was thinking, no, you know, Arizona's going to come back. They're down double figures. They're going to find a way to win. And they didn't. They This was just un- Arizona like they just couldn't find the bottom of the net there was a possession where they took four or five shots and didn't come up with a bucket and they turned it over it just this looked like a sloppy day at the office for Arizona Tommy Lloyd has had these kids prepared all season they're not going to necessarily we sometimes think these number one seeds are just going to go on the road and they're going to take care of business they're going to win all the time it doesn't work that way you, you you go cold in a game especially on the road you're not guaranteed anything. Yeah, on the road in conference against a competent team. Yeah, you're not guaranteed anything at all. And so Arizona took it took the brunt of that. And again, it, it's a tough loss. They didn't look good, but I still think that Arizona is, you know, really one of the four or five best teams in the in the country. And Tommy Lloyd's on the shortlist for National Coach of the Year. But credit to T Tad Boyle in Colorado. This is why, like, before we even get to March, this is why I love this time of year because. These teams are vulnerable, and I, I said it earlier in the day on Saturday. I mean, there are so many ranked teams on the road that this felt like an inevitability with all – not, not necessarily all of these teams. I'm not going to tell you that I saw all of this coming, but certainly uh, you, would, you would think that we were going to be peppered with some, uh, with some upsets, and we did, in fact, we did, in fact, get that. But I'd say that Colorado's win was as – Impressive as it was surprising among any other teams we saw get wins on Saturday because, again, to this point, this had just been a decent, 
middle of the pack, Pac-12 kind of team, and it takes advantage of an opportunity, and Arizona goes cold, and boy, when they went cold, they just they could not recover. This will be a good lesson for them going forward. Like, this is the exact kind of performance. I can just tell you, knowing Tommy Lloyd, he will talk with that team and say, okay, it's real good that we had this here the final weekend of February. We are done if we do this in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Like, you, do, you play like that in March and against a second-round opponent, Sweet 16, it's over, so at least they have a, a fresh frame of reference, and I still do think that Arizona's got the personnel. Like they're gonna, I expect them to represent themselves well once we get to the big bracket. There's certain all, always a, a takeaway, a learning lesson for Arizona in this situation, but did Colorado expose something from the Wildcats? There's something that goes, okay, we, we showed America that there's something wrong with this Arizona team. They're on the one line. Everybody loves this Arizona Wildcats team. They love Tommy Lloyd, first-year head coach. But did they, did they get exposed in this game? I don't think so. I do think some of it was really good scouting, and Arizona went a little bit cold. But I, don't, I wouldn't say that there is a, you know, outright exposure here. I don't, I don't think so. And if we really want to step back and look at the big picture – Tommy Lloyd's first season as a head coach. He spends the previous two decades at Gonzaga as the number one guy behind Mark Few. He takes this Arizona job. Wildcats were not expected to be where they are right now. Top five team, top two team. The last week of February, Tommy Lloyd's done an outstanding job. Every single Arizona fan would have taken this and run with it if you said in the preseason, all right, you can either have three losses at the end of February or you just take your chances and see what – they're taking the three losses every single time. So Arizona still sets up on the one line despite this loss, helped by the fact that it was a ranked team as roadkill kind of Saturday. Mike. Yeah, I like that. I like that as well. Uh, yeah, it was not good to be one of the top uh, six ranked teams in the nation. Five of the top six teams in the country all lost today. And Gonzaga may lose later on, and we'll be back for that if that happens. Here's a look at the Pac-12 conference standings as uh, Arizona still remains atop at 15-2, and two, followed by USC, UCLA, and Oregon. Colorado pulling off a monster upset. Again, their first win against an AP top two since 1992. You want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.